I've got a couple of wildflowers and they're small and I, I saved a Taco Bell uh, sauce bottle and it's really cute and it's perfect for a little group of wildflowers but see all this ugly stuff on it I'm going to show you how easy it is to get that off um, without having to work yourself to death. There's a thing called Goo Gone. It removes grease, gum, stickers, crayons, tapes, stuff like that. So we're going to sprinkle it on here. And then I'm going to take my scraper and I'm just going to scrape it off. And if I let it sit a minute, it would really come off easy. But this is just another handy dandy thing you need a kitchen scraper for. It's good for getting stuff off the floors, it's good for getting stuff off the cabinets, it's good for getting stickers off of your glassware that you buy or that you save. Um, because sometimes, uh, look how pretty it looks, except, uh, but sometimes the dishwasher don't always get it all off, you know. And so, let me put a little bit more right here. And you can use your fingernail too. A little spot like this. But now my wildflowers are going to be pretty in this little Taco Bell bottle that I didn't have to pay for because we ate the sauce out of it. There's so many things you can save and use and do something interesting with. Uh, be a frugal, frugal person. Look how pretty that is now. And we will put and my little tiny wildflower. I've got a tall wildflower. I'll have to trim it. And then I'm going to use it for this little tiny one as well. So, okay. I got this vase the other day at the dollar store. Not the dollar store. I got it at a thrift stop store because I like the way it's shaped for cut flowers. And three of these look really pretty in this. And I'll show you how I arrange them so that um, if you have some at home, if you have a bottle like this, I'm going to show you how to make it really pretty. Um, these flowers have a lot of leaves, so you want to cut the leaves off to get it down in the vase. And forgive our, um, now this is a bloom right here, so I don't too much want to cut it off. So this one may be the only flower that I keep the leaves. I don't know if I'll. Here, let me just start on the other ones first. I may have to put that in something else. And this one has two blooms on it as well. I may cut one off. Let's see if we can find one that don't have blooms. To be our tall one in the vase. This one has a bloom, but I'm going to cut it off because it's down low. Lord, it's got another bloom. Let's see if that'll stick down in there good. Yeah. Okay, so I like to put three in. So there's one. This one had three blooms on it. And you want one to be taller than the other one. You want them all three to be different heights and try to get three in the bottle. There's two. Now I need one that's really tall. I cut them all about the same height. I think I'm going to use this one. Maybe I'll put these little blooms in another vase. And now, with the third one, you want it up kind of high and make sure it's turned so it'll face you because these are kind of bendy. So what you want is three different levels. And the one on the bottom has got a few leaves so it makes it look pretty. I'm going to turn this one just a little bit. So you can see all three from your view. So that's just how I think it looks pretty. I think it looks pretty with three. 
Let me pull this one up just a little bit if I can. Just make sure if you're going to pull them different heights that you make sure and keep your water level good. Make sure you get it just right. I mean, it, take, it don't hurt to take just a minute to get them just right. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that a beautiful vase of flowers? I just love it. Now look, we've got this stem kind of high up in the vase, so just make sure you keep enough water in the vase because the stems are kind of thick. They're going to stay in place. One more thing I'm going to show y'all, and that is I went in there and I got a little hair clip that's clear. You can see it right here. Is that too close? And that way I could clip the flowers in the arrangement that I wanted them to be, and nobody is ever going to notice that clip because it's underneath the leaves. So I just thought I'd show you that little tip too. Can you zoom in? cutting some flowers for the house. We came out here and there's so many butterflies around these. If you have a place in your yard where you could plant wildflowers, let me just say, I got these at the dollar store, I think, um, and they were wildflowers to be cut, and I just love them. They're absolutely beautiful. They're full of these today. Um, but I'm gonna cut a couple to take in the house. Just look how pretty that flower is. Orange is my very favorite color in the whole wide world. So I am loving these things. Loving them. So, but they bend really easy. See, I just bent that one. Yeah, they're really delicate, so I really should hold them at the bottom. Of course, it's so I should take Mama some, but I don't know if they're edible. I'll have to look these up and see if they're edible or not, because Mama can only have edible flowers in her room. Oh, look what I did. They're delicate. Look at these flowers. They're really weird. The petals on them, I'm going to pull one off and show it to you. They're completely, they're not, they don't open, they're encased, and they're like a tube. They're, so the flower has like these two colors. It's really pretty. Gosh, the lantana is beautiful too, ain't it? Let me get this one. Four is really enough because they're so big. And I'm not going to cut the these because they're so delicate they just fall apart. I'm going to take these in the house. These last a long time in the house too, y'all. I've had one in there for almost a week now and it's still pretty. So, plant you some of these. I'll have to look these up and see what the names of them are. Uh oh, look, there's a sweat bee on it. Y'all know what a sweat bee is, don't you? Get out for there. Anyway, we're hoping, since we got plenty of these, that uh, Chris can just grab the seeds off of these and we can plant them um, without having to buy more seeds. We'll let them seed out. I love y'all. Bye.